Hello YouTube, it is P-Dog Knight, and today I want to talk about this young lady named Michelle Carter. Now if you're not familiar with the story, Michelle Carter um, was dating this young man, and I, I can't remember the young man's name um, offhand, but her boyfriend, um, who was having some depression problems and had been discussing killing himself and, and, and uh, committing suicide. And so this girl, Michelle Carter, um, spent a large amount of time um, talking to the boy into actually doing it, giving, telling him different ways he could commit suicide and encouraging him, encouraging him to actually go through with his suicide. And what happened is um, one day uh, he decided that he was going to do it and he, he got in his truck and um, took a hose or something and, and put the hose in the truck and and decided to do it. So he starts the truck and he gets on the phone with her and he's in this truck actually going through with this suicide and she's on the phone with him for two hours. Um, I don't know if it's through text or whatever, but there was evidence she, she ended up going to trial. I'll talk about that in a second. But he even and then during this time he changed his mind was getting out of the truck while she's on the phone with him and she says no you need to go through this you pussy and calling him names and telling me he's a wimp and yada yada and so he gets in the truck and finishes and finishes the job he dies while she's on the phone with him now this case she ended up um, being arrested, and they charged her with manslaughter, which, to me, that's already questionable, that they, they charge her with manslaughter and not some form of murder. Um, but I understand, you know, they say, you know, her words... Um, Personally, I think it's first degree murder. She she's encouraging him, trying to kill, let him teach him how to kill himself. Doesn't call the ambulance. Doesn't call the police, saying that this guy's in this location trying to kill himself. She's encouraging him, and in fact, after he got out of the truck, she encouraged him to go back in the truck. To me, that's you're killing that man. You're killing him. You're killing a person who's in a mentally disabled. Um, what's the word? You know, just a uh, mentally disparaged person. So this goes to trial, and everyone, and now this girl goes to trial. She's found guilty of manslaughter, and then the judge, in sentencing, gives her two and a half years, uh, only having to serve 15 months, but allows this girl to go home with her family while they go through the appeal process. And this is the part that really, really annoys me, okay? Now, I don't get into the men's rights versus feminists and all that nonsense, although I have my opinions. Um, I, I don't necessarily agree with a lot of things that happen in fem feminism, and I do agree with a lot of things that men's, right guys, men's rights people talk about, but that's not here nor there. This is one of those cases that, you know, if this were, now granted, now part of the reason the judge's rationale for the shorter sentence um, is that this girl committed the crime when she was still 17, even though she was, you know, eight, she turned 18 before the trial. And so she, this happened when she was a minor and all that nonsense. But here's the problem with that. Now, you you change this scenario to a 16-year-old boy who encouraged his girlfriend to commit suicide. And while she was committing suicide, she changes her mind and he talks her back into going to the truck. First of all, is there any chance in hell that his age would have anything to do with this trial. In fact, he'd have been tried as an adult, which I believe she was. I think she was tried as an adult. I, I don't know the details that much. 
But secondly, is there any chance in hell that he would have got a lenient sentence because of his age and been able to go home during the appeals process? Hell no. Now, just because this girl, you know, this cute little white girl, and I don't like to bring race, I, I don't even want to bring race into this, but she's this cute young girl getting a lenient sentence strictly because she's a young female. No young male would ever get this sentence. Now, I'm going to take something back here. Because that idiot at Stanford who sexually assaulted that woman got a light sentence too. And it, that judge is an idiot also. But let's go back to this case. This girl should be sitting in jail at least through the appeals process. Um, you know, she probably has some rich parents, probably had a good lawyer, and yeah, all this mess. But you know damn well if that was a boy, 16, 17 year old boy, his ass would be in prison right now until, or at least in jail, until that appeals process is over. He's he's not going home now. You know what? I, I get it. She's probably not a risk to society and she's also the other part of the, uh, the sentence was she, five years probation but this is some cold calculated shit this girl had text messages telling him all the different ways to commit suicide encouraging him to commit suicide he gets in the truck to commit suicide she's on the phone with him communicating with him not telling him to get out of the truck, but is saying, do it, do it, do it. And he gets out of the truck, changes his mind, she's calling him names. That's some cold, calculating, first degree, calculating shit. And I, I just cannot believe it. It's, a, you know, it's an embarrassing part of the justice system. You know, I watched a video, um... Uh, Mr. Repsian did a video about this earlier today and I caught a glimpse of that and he made a great point there's guys in jail for 15 and 20 years or whatever for marijuana possession now granted the longer sentence than that are usually people who are distributing but you know guys in jails were having an ounce of marijuana for 10 years this girl caused the death of another human being she gets this light little sentence. Why? Because she's a young woman? Because she's a cute young woman? You know, maybe she's not a man in society. There is also, you know, crime and punishment. I, I just don't get it. Anyway, that's my driving thoughts for the day. Let me know what you think down in the uh, down in the comment section if you have to see this. Also, do me a favor if you are watching this video, and I'm not you know I'm not caring about the likes, dislikes, hit whatever you want on that. But being a newer channel, learning how to do this and trying to get better at it, I'd appreciate it if you shared this video with other people. I'd love to get more opinions in the comments. That's how. Um, that's how I kind of gauge on where I'm at on these things. But I really want to hear your opinions too. So please, um, right down there, um, hit that little share button. Share it on social media. And uh, if you want to hear more of these, uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much. This is P-Dog Knight, and I'm out of here.